We got inside Anelio's van right now. We're about to give you a tour of it. That is why we're not building today. We are basically trying to figure out the best setup for this bed situation. But now I take this out and I flip this down. Well, it's a bit of a hot one out today, so instead of working on the van build, we are going to be prepping the van for life on the road with Baby Wyatt. And we're actually meeting up with a fellow van lifer who is the owner of what you can call a new parent's paradise. So we're super excited to meet him and see his van as well as see his store. We have been working on the van build day in and day out, and with the recent sanding of all the wood putty for painting the shiplap, you could say it got pretty messy. So we're gonna have to clean this before we hit the road. 10 a.m. and it's already 106 in the van. That is why we're not building today. Okay, I think it's almost time to go. You good up there? What's that? You almost ready? Yeah. Um, you think we should bring the stroller? Probably. I think so too. I'll turn the AC on, get it cold. So I think Anilio is bringing his van today and he has a 144 inch wheelbase sprinter van. I think it might be four wheel drive as well. Hopefully we'll be able to give you a tour of that too. Anilio did bring his van. I'm super excited to share it with you guys. I just did a quick walk around. And this thing is a 4x4, 144. It's decked out with exterior mods and the interior is really nice as well. So excited to get you a tour of that. But before, we are basically trying to figure out the best setup for this bed situation with our seat. And hopefully, we'll find the winning piece. We're going to be testing out different car seats, different stroller setup combinations to see what makes the most sense to fit in the tiniest space possible. Someone's excited. It slides in here, locks into place. I use it how you could use that one, but now I take this out and I flip this down and I'm done. If I didn't make it obvious enough, Anilio is the go-to guy when it comes to finding the right car seat and stroller setup for your baby. Here he is showing us the different options for an all-in-one solution that fits our lifestyle of van life and international travel. So this fits currently the next all of Newfoundland, you know, right. into the winter because he still hasn't outgrown this. Right. Yeah. So you maximize the simplicity of and I'm done, retire that. Yeah, yeah and be done with it. It's like a luggage. Well, that's the idea. Smaller, almost. But it, I know, but like you could literally like pull it around like a luggage. You know what's super thing. nice about this? Once I open it up here, just unlock it, open it up. This fits down the aisle of the plane. So wow. when you get to the gate, wow. you don't have to take him out. You can literally just keep going, go down the aisle when you get to your seat. And then collapse Then you it. take him out, collapse and put it in the over Short term, to replace your current See, this could work. Yeah. And this will work with the little travel stroller. And the beauty of this one, this doesn't have the base latch right, right there. So the idea is to get to those anchors, right? And you're done. Hold on. Yeah, that's so sick. And now I release it here. Oh, wow and I connect it to wherever I gotta go. Boom. And if I wanted to put it on this side, you could put it on this side too. Right. Because you have dual sets of it. So clutch. Bang! And we're on the move. That's it. Put it <laughs> in. In addition to potential car seat setups for Wyatt, we also discussed the best possible options for his bedding, which we're going to build a custom mattress that will lay on top of the folded seat with a custom rail setup to keep him secure. After talking to Anilio and reviewing the different options available, 
he hooked us up with the Nuna brand. So we have the travel stroller as well as the Pippa Urban car seat, which is arguably a perfect setup for us. We love the innovative latch technology that this car seat has, which makes it able to go in any car without a base, which is huge for us because we do plan on still traveling international with baby Wyatt. And this makes international travel a little bit easier so we won't have to bring the base. It is only seven pounds, so it's super lightweight and easy to maneuver in and out of small spaces or vans or cars, Ubers, taxis. It is, I think, made for like city travelers, for people who live in the city, have the taxi and Uber. They don't have to worry about bases and stuff. I'm gonna keep saying bases because that's like the biggest takeaway for this. Yeah. And the fact that the stroller just tucks right behind our seat. So this setup is just really nice. And to be quite honest, we had a Graco car seat before this and little Wyatt absolutely hated it. And he seems to really like this one. So the material is a great. little better, I guess, from a heat dissipation perspective. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's he like gets cool as warm. Looking. I think he has a little bit more room from side to side. So. Overall, it seems to be a great car seat for the whole fam. So a big thanks to Anilio for hooking us up with this. He has a YouTube channel over at Bambi Baby as well, and he did a complete walkthrough video on this setup, and he has a lot more information on his YouTube channel about the different strollers, car seats, and just all things baby over there. Yeah! Now, for his sleeping situation, so so, as you know from our seat install video, this seat folds all the way down, but for Wyatt, he's starting to roll now, so we kind of need to barricade him. So we're going to put this wall up, and then we have a three-wall system. This one here and here, I need to build a custom railing to go to secure him from falling into the, the aisle here, or the galley, whatever you would call it, the walkway. And we're also working with Anilio and Bammy Baby to build a custom mattress to fit this rectangle here and this is where Wyatt will be sleeping indefinitely until he gets too big and then once he gets too big we'll just lay this one down and figure out a railing solution when that time comes but it's going to be nice and we're just going to store the car seat right there in the garage for in Baja on the beach for a week which is going to be amazing. Again we're really stoked on this setup why it's been behaving extremely well and in our last car seat I don't know if it was the material or whatever, but he just wasn't as happy. So when he's happy, mom and dad are happy. But I think he's gonna like it. He's gonna be able to move around just fine, aren't you? Let me know what you guys think about this setup. It's time for Anelia's van tour. I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for that. But again, if you're curious of any stroller, car seat, travel setup for the future, if you're expecting a baby, if you have a baby, then check out BambiBaby.com or head to his Instagram and YouTube channel. I think he posts every single day Definitely. on Instagram. He is a hustler on Instagram. He posts reels every day. It's really good quality content, so check him out. We got inside Anilio's van right now. We're about to give you a tour of it. We're just getting it ready prepped for the van tour. Anilio, you said this is your fourth van, fifth van? This is my fourth van. Fourth van. So he had, Anilio is coming from the Airstream days. You had two Airstreams? I had two Airstreams. Two Airstreams and then yep. he sold them and then had one converted one, sold that again during COVID? I uh, sold that one during COVID, got rid of it. Then I didn't want to be vanless. I said, let me go find a van. I bought one mid-build, didn't like the floor plan, had it built out by Ready Set Van and now I think I'm in a happy place. And this thing is sweet. We're gonna start with the outside and then we'll work our way. Thumper's Bambi's friend from the movie. Okay. You know, a little rabbit. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, so Thumper allows me to hop around like Bambi Thumper. Gotcha, so there that's, you go. That is the connection. That's how we then. tie it all together. And your Instagram handle for your van stuff is Thumper too, right? It's Thumper underscore. Okay. What, what year is this thing? It's a 2020. 2020. Yeah. It is decked out. Yes. So we, uh, I wanted to go with the 2020 4x4 because I definitely did not want the all wheel drive. I didn't want technology controlling me. Same. So I wanted to stay four wheel drive. Yep, exactly. Uh, I, I needed a little bit of clearance, so I definitely committed to Vane Compass. I said. You got the Vane lift kit. Yeah, so okay. I have the Vane Compass 4.3 lift kit, which is awesome. 
Um, I know it makes uh, it makes our van look teeny tiny. I was uh, like, it, do we have a four by four snow? Yeah, Look at this thing. It's well, huge. You're definitely bigger than I am <laughs> yeah. that way, but I, I got you this You way, got the so. height. It's crazy. So, uh, I, I was big on the outside. I needed to make sure that it had all the creature comforts that I wanted. So I did the method wheels. I went with the Falcon Wild Peak tires and the adjustable suspension is definitely a home run for me. Crazy. Uh, such a sick setup. Again, going creature comforts. I wanted the ground clearance. I'm a big skier as well, so I like to stay away from all those moguls, but then I put the AMP research steps, which are great to go in and out of, and they respond rather quickly. It takes a second and they go right back in. This is really rough and tough. I debated it a little, a little bit because of noise or sound or whatever. I think that's extremely okay. overrated. Remember, you drive a van. Yeah. It's quiet enough where I don't hear it whispering, but I could literally do whatever I want here right. very easily, non-skid which is awesome this is adventure wagon or okay. I, I, same I, with the rack same as with the roof rack and i'm just ordered their bumper as well so i'm very committed to their brand i love the quality of what they do and i popped on the top of your van and it looks like you got a full deck up there as yeah. well with perforated aluminum so it's perforated aluminum deck full walkable all throughout uh i did a 360 watt panel one solid panel I'm actually thinking of possibly doing the, the walkable panels, but I rarely go up there for extra storage. Yeah. I do keep firewood up there on a regular basis. I have my max tracks up there as well. Yep. We do have our plug-in in in the back, okay. which is great shore power. This van is self-sufficient. It hasn't been plugged in since February. So it's enough solar to keep it running. I left it in Montana a couple of weeks and I was monitoring with the servo and it would recharge nice, every night. Nice. So it would sit you know, 85% through the night and come back on, refrigerator on, fan on 24 seven. Awesome. So when we wrap around the back, uh, I, I'm an adventure guy, so I like to bike and ski. So I put the two one up trays on here. I'm gonna do a split air air conditioning. So okay. I'm gonna put the condenser where the spare tire was. So it was important for me to take out the tire, especially when you're in snow or something, nobody wants to crawl under there to sure. get it. So mounting it on the back with an owl setup. We went Owl Complete in the back with the B2 carrier, the tire rack, so and sick. the Owl Step. Again, very conscious on keeping me with clearance. I want the clearance. Yep. I'm six foot. I think this is like <laughs> five nine, <laughs> right? So it's like right there. It's like, oh, I have you, gotta- Have you hit your head on that before? You learned the hard way? Yeah, <laughs> I've been hit more than once. I'm married a long time, so I've been hit before. It's okay. Uh, we have a full garage set up here. I still haven't configured what type of drawer tray setup I'm gonna set up. I definitely sure. want some pullouts. I keep my chairs in there, all of the electronics on the left side of the van, all of the waters on the right side of the van. Old school is simple. I like it. It's very simple to see how much water I have. Yeah. This is really nice, so I don't have to worry to get to a number to run to a hose. This has an overflow at the top. Nice. When it's full, you get water on the bottom, turn off the hose, unplug it. Perfect. I have outdoor shower set up. Quick which connects. is perfect so i just put the rod up more than enough privacy here and drop it down okay uh obviously your handy first aid kit yep and then what's your battery bank capacity so i have uh victron 3000 i have 500 watts of lithium nice uh all Renogy batteries because they came with the previous build so i just continued with the Renogy batteries nice uh this is a great little window to keep in the back to allow airflow this window i creep it open slightly with the max air right above the bed oh, and yeah, it's yeah. almost like an air conditioning sitting <laughs> right right in bed yeah you have to turn it down it draws so much air which is awesome, uh, awesome. i put obviously little hooks everywhere you can never have enough yeah, that's places a good to idea. put them and it just kind of works i'm having a new mattress built i'm putting an eight inch mattress i'm a furniture guy so I, my sleeping <laughs> is important uh, so I'm having a custom mattress built for the van. I'm going to keep it at around seven and a half inches and still give me the comfort I was looking for because this thing is like super comfortable. So right. we're pulling that out and putting a custom mattress in. Yeah, that's nice. The floor awesome. is all rubber, even though it looks like wood. It's a one sheet of rubber going front to back. Wow. The entire van is waterproof. So if there's any spillage, and we always have spillage in our vans, uh, when you have any type of overflow, It'll find the lowest hole and seep out, never penetrating. So wood 
is a no-no in my opinion, so we went rubber sealed all throughout. Wow. So it's really nice. It's one sheet going all the way up. So that just sits on top of the plywood floor? It sits on top of the plywood. We did the same thing here, you know, with the CR Lawrence windows, allows perfect airflow. It's netted on the inside. Yep. You know, we did the flare space kickouts because I do sleep east-west. I don't sleep north-south. It is only a full-size bed, okay. which I'm okay. I'm a side sleeper anyway, so I'm okay with there you go, kind yeah. of crunching up. It, it works out fine for us. And you're six foot, you said. I'm six foot. Yeah. You know, and I just spent 21 days on the road with my wife, and it was fine. Yes, it Sleep are. was always the fun part. There you go. We added this table accessory, uh, which is nice sometimes when you're just coming back from a long trip, just dropping some things here, camera gear, whatever, your backpack. You go inside. It's nice to sit here and just have a quick sandwich, a quick snack. It's right. awesome. Um, stay a little cooler too. Stay a little cooler. Up front here, uh, this area, I know everybody likes to put their heater down there and it blows under. This heat setup by Ready Set Van is done a little different. It's set in the middle of the van and it pulls air from the garage. Mm. So the, it creates like a little convection space. Oh. So my garage is also warm, just like the rest of the space. So I don't have uneven temperatures where the garage is super cold and you get that draft in bed. So you're actually pulling from inside. We pull from inside Smart. and circle it. So it's it works great. I've never put the temperature above 62 degrees. I've slept in 30. And inside the van, I leave the thermostat at 60 because it's like almost too hot inside. Yeah, yeah, that's So clever. this space here, I needed to do something with, so I made it my toolbox. So I just have all my tool bags in here, my power cord, whatever's in there that I hope to never use, but it's always there sure. in case I have to use it. Yeah. I felt it was a perfect place to put extra storage. You never can have enough storage. Awesome. This was a great little last minute idea, which is a shoe locker. Love it. To be able to just store them here, keep the mess outside the van. I didn't want to bring it in. So you kind of sit, take off your shoes, and off you go. So we did the Alpine swivel seats. I loved them because it only raised like half inch if yeah, less really so it gives me the same right height that i had before the swivel is more than enough i have a lagoon table here so this is where i work so i drop the lagoon table i work here my wife kind of works towards the back and there's plenty of room to cook the lagoon table because of its setup adds to the counter stop countertop capability while she's cooking and then i have this push table oh that's smooth that kind of comes out right so I have the table here. She can do this with the lagoon. We have plenty of counter space to work around and just pop it in. It's magnet. It folds in. That's really nice. I'm going to change this. Okay. I want to put a door here. <laughs> right now it's an angle pull, right? Okay. It's got a little trash can there that we don't use. We hang a trash can behind the seat. That's what we use. Easier we take it out get every out. stop. Yeah. Um, which works great. We added the most useful drawer in the entire van. <laughs> um, that is nice. So we didn't know what to do with the space because when we laid this out in CAD, Mercedes is a different size than ProMaster and they had this lined up. I didn't want to give up the space. Sure. And I didn't want to put it on the outside behind my seat because I knew it would interfere. So we designed this and it worked out super convenient. Again, very big road trip. It was my favorite drawer. Yeah, that's amazing. We have our Dometic. I think it's the 300 series. Yep. Works great. Freezer too. Freezer, Freeze, freezer for ice cream. We all need the there little ice cream. There you go, yeah. <laughs> we went with the ducks top cookware, which is awesome. And mm -hmm. I was a little cautious about induction. Ever, you know, do I have enough power? Do I have enough power? It seeps a little bit of energy. You can cook a full meal and you drop very little power. I never okay. even noticed it, never even worried about it. Where in my previous Airstream Interstates, power was key. Like, I had to have a propane, I needed a generator, I needed to run all these things. Right. Now we're totally silent, we're off the grid, doesn't matter. Literally Safer. spectacular. Yeah. I have a water filter in there, so whatever f water I bring into the van, I filter in, Good. and then I filter it out through the faucet anyway. Perfect. Uh, we have our Rivati sink, which is more than enough. If you notice, the grain is matched in the wood. Well, I've got to put it the other way. But the grain is matched in the wood, so it's one solid piece. Nice. They did the same thing with the countertops up on top. Oh, wow. So it's all one unit, continuous grain all throughout. That's really cool. To give it that real home feel. 
I didn't it. want it to feel like an industrial truck. I want it to feel like home. Yep, that's how we are. Their finger pull underneath. There's plenty of storage in here. We have it all binned out, so we just pull out our bin needed, whether it's toiletries or food or snacks or whatever the case might be. And then we use the two back ones for our clothing. One thing that we noticed is one of the best parts of the van was the three drawer chest I have behind me. Yeah. These huge. drawers are humongous. Wow. So they're super long. My Clearly, goodness. I just have things in it. We just came back from our long trip. All of this is departmentalized when we drive. But this gives me so much storage that is beyond. Wow. Then Those last, are massive. Massive. They're, I think, 28 inches long. Jesus. Everything is dovetailed really nice. So there is not a single rattle in this van, which was important to me. My Airstream felt like I was in an earthquake all the time. Every time I went, it's like brrr, things rattling, door, slides opening. We had to put duffels to hold drawers in place. Nothing opens in this van. And I took it to Moab and was off-roading with it. Nice. And yeah. So another thing I wanted to do in this space is, uh, I don't want to insult you, but I don't like the way the microwave looks on top, right? So I love this look. Sure. So we snuck the microwave down here. Okay. So I have my microwave outside of the cubby hole so I can go down there, touch it. I have another drawer under here to give me access. Nice. So it's really nice out of the way. I use it when I need to and when I don't. Right. And then shower is always something you say, I need a shower, but then you realize I've owned many vans and the shower takes up so much room. It does. And sometimes the value of that shower is overrated, right? Cubic feet is more important. I love the way this sits because I get to sit open. My wife sits there. We have a great meal. We can work together, do yeah. whatever we want. Yeah. But I needed to figure out a way to make this work. So I Velcro these cushions in place. Oh, nice. This one slides out. Then this becomes, there's a magnetic hold here. My composting toilet comes out. My shower curtain comes up and wraps on these roof hooks that we put in here. So it seals on the hook. So on top, I'm around 40 inches in width. So I have plenty of shoulder room sure. to be able to do whatever I need. We have a constant hot water heater here. So we don't run out of hot water, which is pretty nice. It's still military, right? So you turn it on, turn it off. It's right, not right. like you're gonna do sure, a sauna, sure. but I got plenty of hot water here, never run out, which is awesome. And what's your hot water heater again? So, Ready Set Van has their own proprietary, and I don't know the name of it. Cool. So the way we run it on electric, we have switches here. Yep. So we turn this on for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Oh, your timer, okay. Usually I heat the water prior to getting to wherever we're going to go, so it's free energy. Sure. Okay, so you charge while you're driving We'll too? charge while I drive. Got it. So it's just perfect. Nice. Uh, we did the Victron system as you can see we're at 100 percent we're always at 100 percent that never goes down we're bosto heater we have our evening light that goes in the bed area nice. which is great looks good all dimmable same thing in the front all dimmable as well max air fan i wish these controllers were just small i don't <laughs> yeah. understand why they do this but we have a max air fan above nice and then i travel a lot for work and periodically I don't need the drawers, I wanna hang my clothing. So we designed this rod to be able to hang clothing here. And then we 3D printed these lockable areas so this rod doesn't shake. Cool. So they're 3D printed into the eye bolt that just goes in quarter 20, which is super nice. So I can pop long clothing here, shorter t-shirts over here, so I don't have to worry about ironing. Awesome. And I take them out and I just move them to the front, which I thought was a great idea. Yeah, that's great. And my wife was shocked and loved it. So yeah, anyway. that's cool. And it's clean too, it's not, yep. it's nice. So we traditionally hop up, go to the back, and that's how we go into bed and come out of bed. So I didn't want to do some other kind of cockamamie step. I wanted yeah. the drawer space. It's not that big a jump. And again, with the new custom mattress, I'm gonna save like five inches. That'll be huge, yeah. yeah. We did the white top adventures overhead cabin. Very simple, very lightweight aluminum. You know, the S pod for all the lighting. Nice. I have Baja design front, 
all the way around. I'm hanging my Thule awning probably this weekend out the side and it's going to flush mount against my rack which is going to wow. be awesome. I, I hadn't put it on because I didn't know how to configure it and I finally figured out a way to configure it. Awesome. Yep. And that's it in it. a nutshell. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yep. Anelia's brain is always working. He's been thinking about the best ways for us to configure Wyatt in our van. And, and he's got some crazy <laughs> ideas coming, so it's so really exciting. Wyatt, I got your back. When you're old enough to understand, <laughs> yeah. you're lucky you knew me. There you go. <laughs>